Lindsay Shrewboy 3 and welcome back to Warden um, Melody of the Undergrowth. I swear I'm gonna forget the name of this game with literally every episode, aren't I? Right, but anyways, in the last episode we arrived here at the, oh, what are they called? Bark something? I thought I'd forgotten the name. I should learn it, shouldn't I? The Bark something or other, but we needed to find the Shaman, the Shaman, who was in the Royal Bastion. Now, at the end of the last episode, you may have remembered that the game just sort of, like, stopped and it wouldn't let me leave. So I sort of had to just, ab I say abruptly, it look luckily where I ended the game, or the episode, sorry, not the game. Um, okay, apparently the shaman's trapped in here. Oh, is this him? Foretold warden, this one is bl yeah, glad for the arrival. Scout mentioned you were stuck, how can I help? Young Savior must travel through the campfire to pass through Unbreakable Gate. Sure. Alright, let's go. <laughs> let's go take a nap. Yeah. In this forgotten township, oh, I didn't start the timer. Oops. Right. Yeah, I tried to buy a stick from the shop, but the game froze. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and not shop at that. You know, store anymore since it kills the game. <laughs> and anyway, let's take a nap. Right, so this is a dream apparently we're in now. Let's stand up. Seems pretty dark, so it might be a good idea to get my torch out, it, it seems. Oh, wait, they. Oh, gosh, they. Oh, was that it? Okay, cool. Sure, let's take a nap. Just casually have a nap in some shady place that we know nothing of, it's okay. Is that a giant, giant soup hole or something? <laughs> oh dear. Right, I don't know where I'm going, but... I don't know, I guess I'm just having a wander around here before we go talk to the shaman and continue the story. Ooh, a thing. Oh. Wait, is this... Is this place technically classed as its own level? The Royal Bastion. Okay, let's light a few of the braziers. I assume there may end up being an achievement or something for like lighting all of them in every level or something. Which, honestly, I am never gonna get. And I'm not gonna even try to. So, yeah. Now, if you remember at the end of the last episode, not the end of the last episode, but in the last episode, where I, nice, where I broke the, um, yeah, where I broke the rock with a small, the bigger rock with a small rock, apparently the merchant or somebody in that tower is meant to throw down a big hammer for you to destroy the big, to destroy the big rock with, but... For some reason, that event just straight up didn't happen for me, so I just had to, like, throw a small rock at it. I mean, it worked, so I'm not going to complain, but it's just a little bit strange that it didn't work. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I may as well preserve my health. And then let's just take a quick climb up here to see what is up here, if anything. Um... Is, oh, there's a brazier. Why not? Yeah, it is a brazier. I am pronouncing it correctly. Yeah, just another brazier. A brazier, why not? Whee! And then I suppose we can just dive back down here because it's not very high up. And it looks like the actual way that we're meant to be going is... Ooh, what's this? This is cute. Is that like a map of the place? Looks like it is. Oh, there's the shaman. Yeah, just give me a sec, I want to look at this. What is that flying- what are these flying crystals? Is that a tree in the sky? Okay. Oh, there's a brazier there. Brazier, brazier. I meant- I just said brazier twice really quickly. One was meant to be brazier and the other one was meant to be brazier. Hey shaman, I'm here. 
What was that place? The young one has passed through Warden's spirit dream. Now stubborn gate must be opened, so the only one so this one can return safe to the village. Nimble Warden must reach lofty lever to open stubborn gate. Fragile shaman cannot reach dangerous lever. Alright. <laughs> We're doing everything else, why not do this as well? Uh, is that a ladder? That is not a ladder. Is that all of them? Hey, that's all of them. Now to can put the torch away now. Oh look, there's the thing. Uh, oh, we're meant to go there. <laughs> Just completely ignored where I was meant to go. And it's okay, I didn't lose that entire chunk of health, so it should regenerate. There we go, it is. I was correct. Oh, and since we've got like over a thousand moats, we can open another gate, I think, can't we? Because don't they normally cost like a thousand moats, I think? I'm saying, I'm saying I think, I don't know whether they do or not. But, yeah, oh, come on, push it. There we go. Let's get the shaman out of this here tower. He's a friend indeed, okay. Oh, look, and there's another one of those things up there. With, like, a letter and a symbol. Can I jump over? There's, I'm assuming that's meant to be a B and some weird seven-looking thing. Oh, let's just dive bomb, why not? Oh, I'll just get placed here. Excuse me, I'm gonna sneeze. <sighs> Bless me. <laughs> the gate is open. You're free to go. What's next? Clever Warden must open the final gate and save Mother Neon. Any gate in my way, I'll find a way through. Powerful spirit crystals stop gate from opening. Three crystals must be destroyed. These crystals don't sound like something our people ever developed. Soldier used stolen crystals to imprison Neona in spirit realm. I've heard this before. My father did keep that. Do it, keep, uh, keep our people safe. But she made those mudmen attack. Our people were driven from the forest. Without wise Neona's influence, angry golems could not be controlled. Foolish soldier doomed Mauritians to flee from rampaging golems. Those crystals need to be destroyed to find free Neona. Where do I find them? Hidden crystals lie outside Haven Town. Watchful one must find and open three symbol doors in town into air to journey deep into the forest. Noble Warden will find each crystal beyond the door. I had to pledge notes. Are there more of those moat bundles around? I must explore the town to find air to fi Oh, there we go, I've fallen now, finally. <laughs> right, so I'm assuming that we'll Oh, we should be able to open those doors now, or gates. Still, I'm gonna have to find out the, uh, yeah. what do you mean, the answer to this, aren't I? But surely you would have thought it would have been 43, because that makes sense. Oh no, let's try 34, why not? Is it just a, it is just, is it literally just two? Yeah, it's a collection of two numbers to make that, I'm assuming. Which would be a four and a three, wouldn't it? Maybe it's backwards. <laughs> Maybe it's that. Maybe it's six. Sixty-two. We could try that. I don't know. Sixty-two. Twenty-six. Who knows, it's probably really simple and I'm just really dumb. But who knows, let's go through one of the gates, why not? And actually, can we go through the gate that's on this, that's at this end as well? Oh, this gate's been opened as well, nice. I was about to say there were moats here a moment ago, weren't there? Probably should actually be looking to see what's around here as well. Right. Oh, we're back at the entrance. Cool. Okay, what's this thing? If we jump in here, are we gonna die? Oh no, we're not. It's just some weird part that I can't tell whether it actually does anything or not. Uh, what's down there? That is the entrance to this area, okay. Uh, what's up here? Oh, we can get up on the roofs now. Cool. Okay. Uh, 
Um, oh, there's a... Okay, so we... I'm assuming we're meant to be jumping off this roof. <laughs> That's not a good plan, just straight up jumping off a roof. But there's a moat bundle over there, so... Who knows, maybe something will save us. Oh. I see you cheeky hidden moats over there. Right, I don't trust that one immediately, so I'm gonna go up higher to see if there's anything else. Ooh, what's the- ooh, a scroll. It, law. It's law, isn't it? A new law log, let's. The pyramid, the grove, and the factorum. Cool. Right, Horatius Forest Hub, okay. Okay, then I guess that's the lore of this area. Ooh, I kind of want to go to the pyramid first, just because it sounds cool, but... I don't know. Oh, look, there's a W and a weird 7-looking thing, and oh, there's plants in here. Oh, and there's another law scroll. Cool. I don't actually know what we're meant to be doing in here, or if we're even meant to be in... Oh, there's a bundle, okay. Excuse me, flower, I just need to sneak past you, oh, and apparently kill myself on that. Oh, it's got a club. Hi. Oh, this isn't good. Kill it. Kill it. There we go. And take its hammer, please. Right. Let's get this moat bundle. So I'm assuming each one of those is going to take like a thousand to open. So, oops, just casually hit my controller on the desk. Just ignore that. Oh, that thing can stay alive. It's not causing any problems, is it? New law log, let's look into this one. The grain site. Oh, this city must be called Horatius then. Or Horatus, Horatus. However you wish to pronounce it, I'm not gonna tell you you're wrong for pronouncing it a certain way. And I certainly hope no one does the same for me. Uh, right. I still don't know what these little things are meant to be. And when I say little things, I mean like those letter and symbol things. Right. Is there any way of getting that without killing myself? I don't think there is. So you know what, let's just leave it for now. Let's be smart. Ooh! Hello. Health crystal, I see you. Let's oh, we can jump in there as well, it looks like. Oh. Oh. Nice. Ooh, what's in- oh, there's nothing there. Wait, now that we've got five health, could we maybe- well... Could we survive that fall? Perhaps. Actually, no, because- no, we couldn't at this point. Yeah, because it's only gonna heal us to four, isn't it? Oh, well, that sucks. Oh, there we go, there's some health there. <laughs> Uh, you know what, let's go to this one, just because it's the first one. Oh, and Scout's here as well. Hey, Scout. What does this gate have in store for me? Young one will un will discover abandoned site of Palto Camp. Hollowed mountain, many secrets of forgotten people. That sounds ominous. Eh, let's go. Right. Oh, this is the pyramid. Awesome. I guess we're headed to a pyramid, then. Or towards a pyramid, I guess. Awesome. What is that? Right. Um, what, what's this thing? Is it just like a shining orb? Oh, moats. Oh. Spit. Okay. Come on. There we go. And then we can kill it quickly. Oh. Not if we stood on top of it for some reason. Right, wait for it to shoot tires. There we go. Come on. Oh, and I'm stood on it again. <laughs> At least these things are pretty harmless, it seems like. The don'ts. Ooh, health if I ever need it. Which I inevitably will. Right. Ooh, another law scroll. Nice. Uh, Flora Needle Nose. Oh, I'm guessing that's what the... Yeah, that's what that plant's called, a needle nose. I'm probably going to immediately forget that name, but it's there, should we ever... Oh, there's another one. Oh, did not mean to grab on those vines. 
sword. Uh, let's use the sword, why not? Oh, let's just leave it. It's not good. Oh, actually, could it shoot this thing, maybe? Hi. No, okay. Can we get do anything with these drums? Stop hitting me, I'm doing things. Stupid little runaway flowers. Right, come on. What? Oh, for goodness sake. I'm just getting brutally murdered by plants. There. That one's dead. What hit me there? <laughs> grumble, 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 grumble. Got ya. Alright, so these plants are really annoying. There we go. Right, oh, and there's another one. Of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? Come on. Shoot me. Then, why is he... I don't understand why he keeps jumping on top of the flowers. Oh, uh, dear. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's one of those that spits out the spike balls. Okay. I can deal with those. They're fine. Oh, there's another... <sighs> Needle nose. There we go. It's dead. Right. Alright, let's try a little bit of the old platforming. What on earth is this? If I... Oh. Nothing for us at this minute, apparently. Who knows? Are we maybe meant to get like... I don't know. Uh, you can get up there, dude. It's quite safe. There we go. Right. Oh, and I missed a moat as well. Just casually grab that. Oh, get your sword out. It swings quicker. Come on, shoot me. There we go. Is it dead? Yes, right. There we go. Oops, didn't mean to pick up a rock. There you go, world. Have another rock. <laughs> and there was nothing over there for us, so I guess it's just head over this way. Boink. Alright. And this. Objective completed. What did I do? I've opened the... I must journey inside. I need to find the crystal within the pyramid. Right. Let's do that then, I guess. Nope, get the sword out at the quickest. Can you break these pots at all? Oh, you can. Oh, they have health in them. Cool. Eh, I'll just leave them on the off chance that I need to get them later. Ooh, this is... This is certainly different. Still don't... Oh gosh, I nearly just flung myself in lava. I'm sure there's a way to get over there, but I'm just going to leave that for now. The Buried Cavern. Ooh. Oh, it's all dark. Right, let's get this old torch out. Oh, this doesn't fill me with much confidence. I'm... What was that? Is it? Oh, it's just the music. <laughs> that feeling when you get scared by the music of a game that probably shouldn't be that scary. And there are moats everywhere in here. Find my way to the giant underground structure. <clears throat> Alright then, let's do that. <laughs> the game has told us to, so it, so it is so. Uh, is that a campfire? It looks like it, but let's run over this way instead. Ooh, ooh what's this? Um, I don't understand what these are. Is that like an altar? Or a sarcophagus, maybe? I don't know. Who knows? <clears throat> maybe it's one of those things that we'll find out later, or we'll just... Or it's just there for the aesthetic appeal. Oh, we can rest. I'm assuming that's going to give us health back. Um... Thing. Gosh, how much higher... Ooh, brazier. Perfect. There are 27 in this area, my goodness. Alright, um, that's those. I suppose it does give the whole area a bit of light, which I'm all for. And there we go. Alright. This seems like a terrifying road to be going down, I'm not gonna lie. Alright. I mean, at least I can see braziers in the distance a little bit.
And it seems like with the amount of moats that are in these places, we're probably going to be able to get back up to 2,000 and be able to afford to open the other two doors without too much struggle. Keen eye collector. Cool. Alright, are there moats on the floor? I don't know, but it's very dark. I mean, there's a ladder there, which is, so I'm assuming it must be safe if you do fall. But I don't really want to risk it, to be honest. What's here? Ooh, a torch. Nice. Ooh, and another torch. Awesome. That's like that thing up. Um, actually, wow, I missed a torch back at the start as well. Oh, they count as braziers, apparently. And let's actually just go to the other side because there are. Well, not only is there a torch here, but there's a few moats here as well that I wish to grab because. Oh my gosh, and I'll just run straight off the edge. Because <laughs> apparently I'm just this greedy. Right. Let's light this up. Now I'm down. Huh. I wonder what that is all the way down there. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave this episode here. Well, the timer says we're going to leave it here as well. So, thank you for watching. Subscribe to stay up to date with the rest of my videos. And I found the pyramid. <laughs> I will see you guys next time for more Warden Melody of the Underground. See you then.